friends, remember that box from last week that we tried to fit Jesus into unsuccessfully? Today, we're going to look at another example of when Jesus showed us to think outside the box. In Matthew 16, 21, Jesus predicts his death to the disciples. He explained that he had to go to Jerusalem, suffer at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and the teachers of the law. He would be killed and on the third day rise to life. That's not a usual trait to describe a person, one who can predict his own death, definitely outside the box. Then he continues, and in Matthew 16, 24 and 25, he tells the disciples this. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways, take up your cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But for whoever loses their life for me will find it. Now, Jesus is not expecting us to drag a cross made of heavy wood every day, but he is pushing us to think outside the box of the world's way of living to God's way of living. In order to be a disciple of Jesus, a Jesus follower, we must sacrifice in order to find a full life. Instead of doing what is easy and feels good, we have to do what Jesus would do. That means that we might have to think outside the box. Let me give you some examples. Here are some of my favorite candy. I could do like most people and eat and enjoy it. Or I could give it to the kid sitting over there who doesn't have any. I finish my chores early so I get to enjoy a TV show. I see my dad washing our dinner dishes all by himself. I could watch my show and enjoy my free time like most people. Or I could help my dad so the dishes will be done and we can enjoy some of the show together. Jesus doesn't fit into the box, and we don't have to either. He pushes us to think outside normal actions to be better, to be like him. See you next week.